Hi, this is your math prof, Barbara Rademacher, and let's move along with Roots and Radicals. I can already tell you what the answer will be. I know that when a negative base is raised to an odd power, it's still going to be negative. We're going to end up taking the fifth root of a negative number, but that's okay because 5 is an odd number. If your index is odd, you can take that root of a, of a negative number. So here's what's going to happen. Because this 5 matches this 5, the answer is going to be negative 3. But let's prove it. I'm going to take the fifth root, so I'll say 5 math uh, 5 parentheses negative 3 parentheses closed up arrow which is really called a caret 5 and then right arrow right arrow enter there you go the answer is negative 3 because the fives match that would not work with an even number. Suppose we, well, I'm not going to make up problems right now. Let's clear and let's clear. Remember, you can always back up a video. What? What are you yelling at me about? You will not receive credit. Well, what did I do? Okay. All right. Good grief. What an abusive program. Ah, now we're getting into letters, and letters is something completely different. Hmm. Okay. There is, a, there is stuff I have to show you first. So I'm going to have to get out of here and go to the paper and show you. So talk to you in a minute. Okay, here we are back. We're being asked to take the square root of x to the sixth power. So now is the time that you have to know that whenever you take a square root a square root has an invisible index, 2. Okay. Now, we're looking for the number that you can multiply by itself and get x to the sixth. That's going to be the square root of x to the third times x to the third. They're identical. Remember that x to the three times x to the three is x to the three plus three, which is six. And if you're in the beginning algebra class watching this, oops, look what I did. There. If you're in the beginning algebra class watching this, you're just learning this. You will have just learned these rules that when you multiply like bases, you add the exponents. You're going to use it all the time. All right, so what do we have here? When you've got two things that are identical multiplied by each other, you ha they are squared. So what you have really is x to the third squared, and there's an invisible 2 out here. Well, when this 2 matches that 2, the answer is the base, and here the base is actually x to the third power. So the answer is x to the third. There's another way to do this problem that's much easier. But let me do this first. I'm going to say x, and then I'm going to push the power button over here in the toolbar. 
and I'm going to put a 2, uh-uh, 3. And I'm going to check my answer. What? Use absolute value. Oh, right. That's right. Okay. We'll have to talk about something else. There we go. Let me get rid of this. Remember that when we took the square root of negative 3 squared, The negative 3 was squared first, and so what you had was the square root of negative 3 times negative 3. And negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9, so you had the square root of positive 9. And the square root of positive 9 is 3. So notice that when you took the square root, a positive number came out. Well, what if x was a negative number? OK. Well, the fact that, we're ta that this was raised to the sixth power originally would mean that since this, even if that was a negative number, and it was raised to an even power, it would be made positive before it came out. Like, for instance, suppose you have the square root of negative 1 to the 6th power. Well, that would be the square root of negative 1 times 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 negative 1. And negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. So what you end up with is 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1. So you'll be taking the square root of 1, and the square root of 1 is 1. So it's impossible to take the square root of a number raised to an even power and come out with a negative number. It is impossible. So in order to show that, we know that an absolute value will make any number positive. So we have to actually put an absolute value bar around our answer. So come over here and choose absolute value. And now I'm going to say x and choose the power button, 6. Now I, uh, 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 it's 3, 3. And I'm going to, hey, all right, I finally made them happy. You see, it, a number raised to the, a, a negative number raised to the third power would still be negative. So this is our way of letting everybody know that we know that the answer is going to be positive. Whew. That was a lot. Let me turn the page. Because I said I'd show you an easier way to work that problem. So here it is. The square root of x to the 6, and you have to remember there's an invisible 2 index there. We have something called rational powers. And what that says is, if you have a base raised to a power underneath a radical, you can write it this way. x to the power divided by the index. Well, here, 6 divided by 2 is 3. So this is going to be x to the third. And if we're going to be absolutely, totally correct, we'll put absolute value bars around it. OK. Next problem. OK, there we've got 
the index and the exponent matching each other, so the answer will be x. You don't have to use absolute value bars because this is an odd index. It doesn't matter. Uh, you, can, you can take the odd, uh, an odd root of a negative number. So the answer is just going to be x. Yeah. Whew, only a few more. Now, the cube root of x to the 9, we don't have to worry about absolute value bars because these are both odd numbers. This is going to be x to the 9 divided by 3, which is, what is 9 divided by 3? It's 3. This is going to be x to the third power. See how easy that is. Sometimes math is really easy. X exponent 3. Check answer. Woo! We're so smart. Now this is a different situation. We're going to have to use the absolute value bars here. We know that even if that's a negative number, because it's being raised to an even power, it will be made positive, and then we'll be taking the fourth root of whatever that is. Oh, but we don't. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Always work a problem before you jump to the answer. Whenever you square a number, it's going to be positive. So putting absolute value bars around it would be redundant. So our answer is going to be x squared. OK. Now, 33. We're going to be graphing. So I really have to go back to the graphing calculator for these. Okay, talk to you later.